Welcome everyone to the Honda CRV. This is the 2019 model in the Touring trim, and this compact crossover is a very popular choice for good reason. But there's an aspect of this car that I have never really described any other car in such a way. It's funky for some very particular reasons. And let's go through this video to discuss what those reasons are. And then at the end of this video, I'll place it in my ranking system to see where it competes against its competitors. And this video wouldn't be possible without the help of the Delari Group and Calgary Honda that were able to give this CRV to me for a couple days so I could review it. All of their information is linked down below for Calgary Honda and the Delari National Dealership Locator. The compact crossover segment, very popular, multitude of choices that you can go with in this segment. And Honda approaches this segment with the funky CRV. I find it funky by the way it looks, the way the interior is put together, and just the details of things. Those wheels, for example, that odd trapezoid triangle shape, I don't think you can see anything like it in any other vehicle or any other Honda for that matter. The interior of this car is put together very well, but there's some odd details like this strip of black plastic that goes across the dashboard here with these faux wood details that we have along the door cards and on the dashboard as well. Why does that have to be there? I don't know, it's a bit weird. Uh, the way that you have the steering wheel and your shift lever set up reminds me a lot of the gaming systems that you use for Gran Turismo or Forza. Now you have the steering wheel and this column shifter attached in one big plastic molding. The distance between where you would rest your hand, your right hand on the steering wheel, and then moving it from the wheel onto this column shifter reminds me very much of that. Moving away from some of the detail parts of the CRV, let's talk about its powertrain. You get a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that produces 190 horsepower and 179 pound feet of torque across the entire range. It's mated to a CVT transmission and all but the base trim come with all wheel drive. The CRV can tow up to 1,500 pounds as well. And there's five trims in Canada, starting off with that two wheel drive LX version, moving your way up to this top trim touring. Has a lot of available and optional equipment along the way. But the standard features in this CRV include the touch screen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a volume knob that flanks just on the left hand side. And when you go with the real time all wheel drive system that adds in a lot of the Honda sensing safety equipment. So that includes the Ford collision warning, the lane departure assist, the lane keeping assist and the adaptive cruise control. And many of those functions you can control here on the steering wheel. In this touring, you'll get a couple things that you can't find elsewhere, including the blind spot monitoring assist system, the full size glass sunroof, and this digital instrument cluster with a digital tack, speedo, and a display just below where you can have a multitude of different things displayed to you, whether it be your music or the car's information. Here I have the four wheel drive menu selected so I can see where the power is going every time I get onto the throttle. When you look at the tack and speedo and all of this stuff in front of you, the temperature readout for the engine and the fuel gauge have this odd 3D effect to them. Depending on where you are looking on this fuel gauge, for example, you could be at half a tank or just under, depending on which way you look at it. The CVT isn't the best that I know Honda can do, and that exists in the 1.5 liter CVT Honda Accord, where it will fake transmission upshifts when you get close to the red line, and it won't hold and have that typical rubber band effect that a lot of CVTs inherently have. Planting your foot into the throttle, but it still has that laggy effect. The 1.5 turbocharged engine might sound like a really minuscule unit, but it has more than enough power to get you out of the way, quickly overtake somebody if you need to. It doesn't have automatic stop-start technology, which I would like it to have. And when you're coming to a stop and maybe you put the window down, you can really hear that engine ticking away. Inside the cabin though, not much is transmitted. Anytime you're coming to a stop, in the CRV, there's this whirring noise, and I'm not sure if it's the transmission or the brakes. Maybe you can hear this. 
it's probably not coming through on camera but it almost sounds like there's an electric motor and it has a tiny little bit of regenerative braking going on but I know that system doesn't exist in this car. Other driving aspects I think the steering is excellent you've got a very consistent feel here with the steering wheel it isn't relaxed or sloppy but it isn't tight and darty just a nice middle ground for anybody approaching a car that they all just be driving in and about town and on the highway every day on the highway it's a little noisier than its competitors quite a bit of wind noise rushing over the windscreen and the wing mirrors here and the wing mirrors do seem quite tight to the glass looking in them over the back of the car you can see that tail light unit protruding out from the gray bodywork another funky detail with the upright tail lights it does impede a little for rearward visibility Honestly though, I don't think it is much of a problem here in the CRV. Brake pedal is nice and firm. You can shift down into a sport mode with this transmission and all it really does is hold the revs at a higher RPM. It doesn't alter any of the other parameters in this vehicle. I'm gonna skip over the second row seats and go straight to the boot because it is enormous back there. And look how low that loading lip is. If you were lifting something heavy, like a toilet you're really going to appreciate how low that is to the ground you can fold down those second row seats 60 40 to have even more space you can't hide away that security cover underneath you'll find your spare wheel and tire jack although i always like to see the security cover uh, have the ability to hide away i can live without it here and the second row seats if you're six foot four like me sitting behind myself very little to complain about back there. You've got the vent controls, a good lookout with the sunroof. Front row passengers are gonna be happy here too. I feel like I've got quite a bit of headroom still. The seat bottom angles up quite a lot. So tall drivers can have the back of their legs supported, although it isn't extending all the way right up and behind my knees. I can still have this base lift up and kind of cover that effect. The touch screen is the last generation unit. So if you know the Honda Odyssey, Honda Passport, the new Accord, it isn't that system. It's the same one that comes in the Fit and the Civic. It comes with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, like I said. So you're able to bypass a lot of the details that I find annoying about this system selecting anything through this main menu it isn't very quick to respond moving from one menu into the next it does take a second to load and it does have that annoying beep that you can easily turn off if you wish there's five touch sensitive buttons on the side to take you from home map audio phone the back button and then changing the brightness and then additionally we have the volume knob to the left hand side when the crv came along in its fifth generation in 2017 it didn't have that it had that touch sensitive scroll thing and people complained about it enough that honda went back fixed it for the 2018 model year there are a few buttons that you can use for the climate control system easily just clicking on this button on the climate will take you to that system menu but i would like to have a zone button but I really would like to see a zone button as well as an AC button in this collection down here. So that wraps up all of my thoughts regarding the Honda CRV. This is one of the staples of the segment and a very popular choice again for good reason. It's very easy to live with. It has all of the features that I think someone in this segment is looking for but i think you can find a car that's perhaps a little more quieter on the highway perhaps more fun to drive but still i think the crv is a segment leader so that's been everything from me thank you so much for taking the time to watching this video please like the video if you liked it and share it if you think other people will like it too if you can hit that big red button that would be absolutely amazing Thanks again, have to go off to Calgary Honda and the Delari group that lent this car out to me for a couple days so I could review it. Again, all their information is linked down below. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon.